Welcome to the video of a calculation of the roll period of a large container vessel. Well, the roll period is equal to TR roll 2 pi times uh, radius of gyration divided by G times the GM gravity. Okay, so what do we know of this vessel? We have a length of 347 meters. We have a width of 42.8 meters. A GM of 4.5 meters. Um, and we have from this we can say the radius of gyration which is radius of gyration here. We explain that in short so I have a vessel over here, which is in the water, a water line over here, and we have the axis, and say this is the rolling point. The vessel will start rolling, going up, going down, and we could say that the mass of the vessel is virtually centered on this circle. This is the, the mass circle. And yeah, that took from here, but the rate of gyration is um, so say so, so from the rolling point it should be a little deeper. Um, the rate of gyration is from the center of rolling to the mass circle. So typically we know that the Range of gyration is 0 0.35 times the width of the vessel, and in our case that would be 0 0.35 times 42.8 equals well 40.98, almost 15 meters. So gravity is now we say uh, gravity is. 9.81 meters per second squared. So we fill that in all and we get a T uh, a roll period from so 2 pi times uh, 14.98 divided by 9.81 times and we have the GM of 4.5, which gives us about 14.2 seconds. Interesting to see is that um, in a, we talked about the encountered wave period. So we have a graph here. Uh, Say so this was zero, this was a 90 degrees, and it was a 180 degrees. And um, uh, this was the TE, the encountered wave period, and we got graphs like this. Say, graph going up, encountered wave period going up, and so, say this is for a specific speed of, say, 12 knots. So what could you do in this graph? You can plot the 14.2 uh, seconds, because the and count vapor is in seconds as well. So this is your T roll. And now you could discover that in this point here, waves coming from say a hundred and ten degrees relative, uh, you could have a problem with your um, with your roll because the waves are now in the same roll period, uh, same period as your roll, uh, your vessel is rolling. Um, and that could lead to, say, example, uh, synchronous rolling. We are not there yet. Say we have in a specific case a angle, roll angle of 20 degrees. I would be interested in what is the acceleration uh, accompanied with that roll angle. So from a previous video, we know that the uh, angle acceleration is something like minus omega squared times the roll angle. So um, we know that the omega equals um, g times gm d 
divided by r squared. And when we put in all the numbers, it would give us something like um, 0 0.4435. And you could try that yourself. Pause the video. Um, okay, we put it in over here. Make sure it's in radians. So put it in is minus, and then we have the 0 0.4435 squared times 20, and we have pi divided by 180 because we have to to uh, put the degrees into radians, and that gives us something like 0 0.0687 degrees uh, per squared second. So this is your angular acceleration. So we also know that the, the normal acceleration is something like um, your angular acceleration times the range. So it matters if your container is over here or over there, because your uh, your radius is significant, significantly different. So we put in the angular acceleration, so that's a 0 0.0687 times, well, say we have a, a a width of uh, 42 meters, so half is 21, say we have a, a 20, we could say you have to go up as well, but it would take too long, you can do that with Pythagoras. So we have a uh, R of 20, and that would give us a 1.37 meter per second squared acceleration. Okay, so what we learned for a specific vessel, you can now calculate the roll period. You can put it in a graph uh, of the encountered wave period and see where problems might occur. And the last step is what are the accelerations for a given angle. So you can put in any angle over here, uh, but you can calculate the uh, acceleration accompanied by it. Okay, thanks for watching.